Okay, so this is a Duplo tote <laughs> of perfume. It says $1 your choice or $10 for all of it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. You guys know I am all about vintage perfume, but I figured 10 bucks. This little Lego case right here is from 1987. So I can probably sell it on its own. Probably smells like perfume. Um, Amari, is that Avon? I feel like that's Avon. And most of these might be a complete miss, but, um, for $10, I figured um, I would take a chance. This one is Rare Gold. Rare Gold. Um, that one's Avon. So the Avon are probably not going to be that great. Elizabeth Arden, Red Door, but there's only a little bit left. Mesmerize. I feel like that's Avon also. Um, I, I sold Avon back when I was really, really young. This one's Avon. That's really old. Hawaiian White Ginger Clone Mist. White Shoulders. White Shoulders, huh? Okay. That one is... Made in the USA. That's definitely vintage. I don't see Avon on that one. So that one may have been good if um, it had anything in it. I think this, I dropped this and some of the lids came off. Sparkling white diamonds. Again, it's empty. So it's pretty much trash. I don't think anybody's going to collect that. Really, I just need one good thing. Okay, I have no idea. Do you guys want to see what's in it? Stay tuned. Hold on. Some type of deodorized powder. But there's nothing on the lid. But it smells good. It's perfumed powder. I don't have the lid on really tight, so I didn't want to... There's nothing on the bottom. No markings. Uh, this one is Paco Aban. Hmm. Made in France, so I would definitely look that one up. I was trying to smell it. That one might be a splash, but Made in France is, this goes to something. Probably a pretty good one. Again, I think I dropped this tote and everything fell out and the lids fell off. I don't think that goes on that. It's kind of gross. Uh, can't read it. I'll have to get a loop to read that one. Um, I might, does that fit on there? No. Mm, I don't know which lid goes on it. It's like a puzzle piece. We'll come back to that. Uh, this one is, uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. And even if they're not like a high end perfume, if it's discontinued, like this one's Avon, but it has no writing on it. If it's discontinued and even if it's not a high-end brand, somebody may still want it if they wore that perfume and it's discontinued. Sparkling white diamonds. So that's a vapor natural spray. Okay. Um, hmm. Elizabeth Taylor. Does that say Taylor? I don't know. I'll look that one up. Maybe I'll get lucky and one of these will be good. Perceive. Most of these are not very big. Night Magic. Is that Avon? Let's see. Um, golly. It's so tiny. Made in the USA. It's vintage. It's Avon. I don't know what it is. Um... 
Oh, I think it's like a perfume that you like uh, rub with your finger and then put on. Night magic. Looks pretty full. This person liked Avon. This one is, it says Paris made in the USA. So that one might be worth looking up, but I don't see a brand. Oh, does that go in there? No, <laughs> I really want to put that on every single one. Okay, this is another Elizabeth Taylor. Mm. What's this one say? Oh my goodness. Le Jordan, Le Jordan. So if they say um, parfum or anything made in France, made in Paris, those are the ones you definitely want to look up. Um, not much in that one either. My hands are going to smell awful, all these mixed up perfumes. I don't know what that one is. See, no writing. If you guys see anything, look at this. Skin Perfume Oil. Never heard of that. Taboo Dana. Now that might be worth looking up. That's interesting. Skin Perfume Oil. Hmm. Parfum. See, Parfum, I will probably look that one up. And it says France, so that's always a good sign. But look how tiny it is. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Hmm, wonder how it smells. For 10 bucks, I mean, I couldn't pass that up. I couldn't pass up a mystery box for $10. Okay, so even these little samples can be valuable if it is a good scent. This one's Avon. White linen, it's about gone, so. Okay, these look pretty cool. Um, Parfum, made in the USA. Oh, goodness, but there's no, I might be able to Google lens that because of the shape of the bottle and the uniqueness of the plug. And it looks like I have two of those. So those are kind of, kind of neat. Another no-namer. Oh, wait, here. Oh, what does that say? B, is it B-L-I-G-E or E-L-I-G-E? Not really certain. I even have on my glasses. Bermuda Jasmine, Lili, huh. Somebody's gonna be like, I used to wear that. There's another one. Estee Lauder Pleasures, little, little one. Heard of Estee Lauder. I think my mom used to wear this back when I was a kid. Is it what is it? White diamonds? Is that white diamonds? Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't this. I don't know. She doesn't wear it anymore, I don't think. Aroma. Aromatic? Aroma. Aromatic? I don't know. But there's, um, again, just because they're samples, you guys definitely look them up. Like, that's Avon, so it's probably nothing, but... Um, some of the samples can go for big money. Poison, Estee Lauder, Christian Dior. Doesn't do any good if they're empty. But there's people also that sell um, perfume. Like that is their thing. They sell perfume. And I'm guessing that they will buy these little uh, containers maybe. And then I, they could buy like a big bottle of it, you know, because they could get it cheaper. And then possibly put it into the small containers and make more money selling it in smaller quantities. So somebody might want the empties if it's like a, a popular uh, brand dog hair. White diamonds. I think that's what my mom used to wear. What is that? Is that another one of those uh, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get it off. Yeah. Yuck. Probably just toss that. Here's another one. Now this one, solid perfume, that's what it's called. I'll look this one up. It, um, I mean, if somebody just touched it with their finger, Chantilly, Chantilly spray. Which container do you go to? There it goes. Boom. Now we know what that one is. And then we got this one. I think that goes there. That's it. Just some yuck. All right, you guys. Was it worth $10? Let me know in the comments. Okay, you guys. This came from the garage sale where I got the vintage hair things from the video I released. Um, and I sold that one for big money. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check out that video. It is absolutely crazy. Um, I actually just sold another set tonight for, I think it was like 40 some dollars plus shipping. So this was $10. It's plastic canvas. I have sold plastic canvas before. So I saw this and it was kind of a no brainer. I figured I could make my money back. Um, it's, I, I don't know exactly what's in it yet. I um, just went like this and opened the top and kind of peeked in like I'm doing right now. And I kept making a pile at this place because they had lots of crafters items such as this. And I probably should have bought all of it just because it's fun to go through and I like it. But um, so this is all canvas. These look like they're just scraps. Now, people can still cut these. I mean, these are pretty big scraps, so I can probably still sell them. I don't know how I'm going to sell this yet, if I'm going to sell it in a lot, if I'm going to sell it individually. It's pretty heavy. Um, these all look to be uh, full sheets. Um, I don't know what these actually retail for, so um, I'll have to look into it a little more. I have sold the full sheets before. They do sell pretty quickly, really, for the most part. Um, 12 pieces. So this one is still sealed. And this, I'm going to say this is vintage. So I will probably sell this pack separately. Here's one that was uh, started. I don't know what that is. That looks like, I was going to say a bib, but that's not a bib. Um, hmm, I have no idea what those are. That's the thing, like, uh, so these are just little uh, rectangles. These are smaller ones. These are even smaller. Some triangles. So this is just somebody's um, plastic canvas. <laughs> A crafter. So, again, just... I don't know. For 10 bucks, I'm going to I'll be able to make my money back. I don't Okay. So this one I may sale sale. I may sale uh some of these separately. I don't know. There's something down in there I want to check out. Oh, wow. Look, there's some yarn. This may get more interesting. All right. Sorry. I hope I'm not making this sick. I needed two hands for that. Okay, so these are all circles. So I'll sell the circles together. I have no, this is like domed. That's interesting, right? So yeah, what are these? Uh, candy canes maybe, I'm not sure what the green thing is there. What is that? Um, looks like there's see let me get it open here this one's going to be like too short to be on its own so i'll have to stick this in another video i can't get it open with one hand what's this so this looks like a project started not finished uh there's a dome i don't know what that is but there's some yarn in there so i'll look up that yarn sometimes yarn can be worth money I mean, what on earth is this? Like, what is that? What do you, what do you do with that? 
I don't understand. Is that ears? <laughs> I doubt it. Just kind of looks like it. Okay, so that box, it's not really too exciting, but I didn't know what kind of treasures I was going to find in the bottom. I didn't really find many treasures at all. But again, like I said, I can make $10 back pretty quick on this. Um, probably with that alone. It's a pretty big pack. And she made a good point at the sale. I'm like, if I buy a whole bunch of these, because they were 10 each, and again, I had not looked through them, so I wasn't really sure as far as resale value what was happening in each box. So I'm like, if I buy them all, are you negotiable? And she's like, if you want to take them out of the tote, I'll give them to you for seven. And I was like, I think I want the tote. I mean, totes aren't cheap, right? So um, I went ahead and paid the 10 and, and kept the tote. I mean, it's a big, pretty big tote. All right, let's look at another box. Okay, the next box is glitter. And it was only $5. It is a small box. I did take a peek inside and right on top I saw Lisa Frank and I was like, glitter is sold. Um, I don't know if it's complete. It will not matter. I'm sure that there's enough in here that somebody will be interested in it. So I will look into that. And Lisa Frank, capital L and capital F is the vintage stuff. However, Lisa Frank is coming back with the capital L and the capital F, from what I understand. Um, I watched a video on uh, Jessie Shop's channel, and she was at Walmart looking at Lisa Frank items, and it was like a back-to-school section trapper keeper or folder or something like that. I think it was a folder, and it had the big L and the big F, so... I'm going to say that the golden rule of vintage Lisa Frank is the big L and the big F is out the window. Now, this one I'm pretty certain is vintage because everything that I got at this sale was pretty much vintage. So this is just like an old, um, probably had glitter in it at one time, Wales stained glass coloring book. I feel like I saw these in something else. Hmm. Let's see. Is there a date on that? 1992. Okay, so these are Tupperware. That one's empty. Made in the USA. I can probably sell that, right? So right there, there's two of them. Is that one Tupperware too? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I can probably sell those right there and make my money back. I don't know. I've never really sold vintage Tupperware, but. So we have some vintage glitter. Oh boy, there's that word, you guys. Aluminum, aluminum and or plastic. Pretty, right? Glitter's so messy. We've got a couple funnels. Another. It's so funny that they used, um, salt and pepper shakers to sprinkle the glitter. What a good idea, right? Okay, let's see if there's anything else in here. Three for a dollar. I don't know. I mean, again, I saw the Lisa Frank in the top. That's why I bought this, but that looks full. So I'll look that up. Made in the USA, bottle made in China. I don't know, I don't know if that's super, probably not super old. What are these? You guys, I am, I have no clue what this stuff is. Um, they look like toothpicks on one end, but uh, they have like little rivets. Is that a rivet? There's some glitter. I bet that came out of the Lisa Frank. Have to look. Okay, so this says silver foil glitter from 2000. That's, there's a lot of glitter in there. That looks messy. And then here's the gold. 
that's really like different looking. It's not your typical glitter. And then glitter, glitter, and more glitter. What do you guys think? I think I can make my five bucks back. A D M. Huh. Oh my gosh, check this out. Are you guys ready? Look, I bet they're toothpicks and you like, it's a little carry case. Oh my goodness. Is that not the coolest little thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, that is so funny. I love it. Huh. I'm guessing that's just like an advertising thing, but I bet my dad would love that. He uses toothpicks all the time. Okay, that's a little bit of information you probably do not care about. I might give him those little toothpick holders. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, let's do another box. All right, I wanted to pull the Lisa Frank just to show you guys. I'm not really sure what exactly you do, but it looks like a dog. I don't know if it's like... um maybe a sticker, and then you put these colors. I don't know, I'd have to read the instructions, but this glitter is from something else because these two glitter packs are in there. Here's your sticks to do something. And then I'm guessing after you complete the picture, it goes in this little uh, picture frame. So if it only came with two, I'm gonna say that this is complete open box. So it's new old stock open box. That's what I would say. So it's the puppy dog and the uni with stars. Okay, so that's odd because the design inside is marked below and it's this one, but it's also this puppy dog. So I'm guessing maybe there were two of these and then somebody just put them both in one pack. So buy one, get one free. Yep, one picture one tool, one frame, colorful glitter. So that's what's happened here. Somebody has added an extra one into the pack. Bonus! The next tote came from the same garage sale as the vintage hair things also. It's got hair on it. Um, I think they had a pet, but everything is in these totes. So um, I haven't really found anything really on this stuff. $10 embroidery thread. Now, I did take a peek and I saw this right here and I was like, okay, sold. Um, it's super cool, it's really old. Look at this, you guys. I mean, even just, I, I imagine I'm gonna sell this as vintage advertising, you know what I mean? It's all there, look at it, look at how cute these are. Oh, oh my gosh, the cuteness of this. What if I found a million dollars underneath? Oh man, <laughs> nope, I just made a mess. Okay, I'm gonna power off for a minute and fix this and I'll be right back. It was something like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there's that. Um, we've got this elastic webbing for underwear and outerwear. I don't think that's what this is. I think somebody just put their uh, thread around it. Um, I don't know what these are. Huh. So they're more like on spools. I have sold embroidery floss before. I have done very well with the vintage. Some of the colors are discontinued. People look for them. Um, see the colors right there, the brand. And these seem really old. So somebody's got this wrapped around an old pill bottle. Federal law prohibits the transfer of this drug to any person other than the patient for whom it was prescribed. Look how old that is. Somebody's got their yarn around it. Whoops, the yarn is no longer around it. So I will be tossing that. Um, yeah, so not in the best uh, shape, but I've heard of the DMC. I've sold that before, I do believe this right here, this um, D 
DMC. Now here's this big old thing. Never sold that. Here's another one. Oh, it's even got thread. Um, I don't know. I Like I said, I really bought this for this. This other stuff I may just bundle as a lot. Um, I can look this up. Knit Crochet Boil Fast. Huh. You never know. You just never know. Oh, look at that. It's still in the little box. Cotton Embroidery Floss. Carry, carry Green. Huh. It's an old, old, is it wood? Yeah, some of that. People collect those too. Yeah, this wasn't, um, it's kind of messy, <laughs> but I, I can't complain. I'm just gonna kind of see what else is in here. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. It's kind of boring for me anyway. Boring for me. Somebody's got it wrapped around an old, uh, pamphlet. Interesting. So yeah, maybe I'll just uh, lot that up and see if somebody wants to buy it all. I'll sell the one thing separate just because it's so cool. There's stuff falling out of each. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Make more room. <laughs> Let's get this green one back in. This I'll look up, try and figure that out. I don't see any writing, but it looks kind of fuzzy. Like it might be really soft. I don't know, we'll see. I do have another bundle of floss. I could maybe sell it together. That's all cracked, look at that. It's cracked. It needs to go in the trash can. All right, let's grab another box. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.